Hi, Half Chrome here with a flight test and review of the SEMA X5UW. Here at Half Chrome, we like to test the vendor specifications to make sure they're telling the truth. And we're going to start off with a battery life test. Now, SEMA says that this red X5C X5UW will last seven minutes in a hover. And we're going to put that to the test. We're not going to make you sit through the whole thing the way I had to. I did get a little bored. I did a couple spins almost crashed it, but um, wow, look at that. It lasted exactly seven minutes before the software told the drone to make a nice, safe, controlled landing. Not bad, they were telling the truth. Now we're gonna do some side-by-side -side flights and races with the older X5C. And uh, one thing to notice here is the X5UW is much more stable in flights. The altitude hold does a good job of keeping it nice and stable. X5C does get there a little sooner. That's not because of top speed. They are about the same, but it's a little faster off the line. They just have it tuned to be a little more aggressive. It's gonna make the video from the X5C not quite as smooth, but it is a little, it is a little quicker off the line. Now we're just gonna fly these guys facing each other. Uh, back and forth a couple times. Kind of neat to see one drone looking at the other. You can see the uh, view from the drone there. You can see the white X5C. And they're just going to take one more cruise uh, down here. Kind of a cool way of flying these two drones side by side. Next up is some flips. Now flips are fun. They impress the friends. They impress the family. With these drones, it's just a simple press of a button and you tell it which way you want it to go and there it goes. Just kind of fun to watch these guys do flips and we're going to do flips outside. Got a couple more inside. I was dead set in getting some footage of the drone close up with my wide angle lens but I was having some trouble in this confined space. You can see several attempts putting the drone into the wall. It holds up really well to some abuse not too bad but let's see if i can eventually catch on and try something different let's try going the other way that'd be a good idea and look at that he pulls it off so now let's look at that from the drone's point of view you see the camera there this cool guy with his detour sunglasses and it's just kind of neat to see this flip view spiraling around stone face I think I see a little bit of a fashion faux pas there. Crocs. Hope you don't judge me too much. And just a few more flips in the half chrome atrium. Watch out for the ceiling fan. You can see you don't need a ton of space there. And we'll finish up the video with some outdoor flying. Watch out for that tree. And uh, you can see no jello effect. Sometimes these drones do get that jello effect when they don't have the ISO mounts. But uh, in this case, doing pretty well playing with the kids outside and we'll take it up in the air and uh, yeah not bad to get this kind of footage out of a drone under a hundred dollars with first person view and altitude hold so with that we'll say goodbye and thanks for watching check out our website halfchrome.com